What's up everyone? I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Everything you just watched was filmed on the Hero 5, Hero 6, and Hero 7 Black. But the craziest thing was there was no in-camera stabilization on any of those clips you just saw. All the stabilization was done on an amazing app I'm talking to you guys today about called Real Steady. And this thing is absolutely insane. They are a sponsor of this video, but I have actually been using this app for a while. I bought it a couple months back because I made the complete rookie error of forgetting to turn hyper smooth on during a shoot with the Hero 7 Black and just the standard warp stabilizer in Premiere just wasn't cutting it for me. I'd heard of Real Steady before and they've developed one called Real Steady Go which is a lot cheaper and it's made just for GoPro cameras, I believe from the Hero 5 Up and Hero 5 Session as well. So when GoPro started including in-camera stabilization, every GoPro video clip records an audio track obviously a video track and also a gyro track and what the real steady go does is it reads the gyro data and is able to add incredible stabilization so we're going to break it down and when i say incredible stabilization i mean something that i would say is arguably even better than hyper smooth in some situations so as you can see on this first clip and there's plenty of shake on it we were filming at full hd at 240 frames per second so that we could get some nice slow motion with it and here it is again with real steady stabilization on and I had two cameras rolling so we also had a Hero 7 rolling with this was actually filmed on Hero 6 and the next shot is with Hero 7 Black with hyper smooth on recording at 2.7k at 60 frames per second but now the amazing thing about real steady is that you can add stabilization to any mode which means you can now get smooth slow motion shots so the great thing with the Hero 7 Black is yes we got hyper smooth but there are a lot of modes that hyper smooth is not available which is why i always said i didn't think uh, the hero 7 black was the complete gimbal killer if you still wanted smooth slow motion shots you needed to buy a gimbal and again a gimbal costs 200 to 300 dollars the real steady go app costs about 100 dollars and as you can see the stabilization is next level so here is the raw clip again slow down and you still have a bit of shake on it and now here it is slowed down in real steady and look at that absolutely no shake whatsoever the horizon comes in nicely and here's the hyper smooth clip but it can only be slowed down to 50% because we we're recording at 60 frames per second whereas the first clip we we're recording at 240 frames per second and as you can see it, it does crop in a bit as with any stabilization app so I wanted to go I wanted to test out the real steady app on some older footage that I had with a Hero 5, Hero 6 and even some Hero 7 footage. So here's a side by side comparison. This was a shot I filmed at a spring in Florida. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos. I filmed this at 2.7K at 120 frames per second because I wanted some nice slow motion. And the clip is slightly slowed down here. But as you can see, the one on the left has no stabilization and we have real steady on the one on the right. And it is a lot smoother. I've been doing quite a bit of side-by-side -side comparison filming with the Hero 6 and Hero 7. Obviously the Hero 6 doesn't have Hyper Smooth on and we had Hyper Smooth rolling on the Hero 7. I think we were filming in 2.7K 4x3 at 60 frames per second and we had the exact same settings on the Hero 6. I'm going to play two clips and you can see if you can work out which one has Hyper Smooth and which one has Real Steady. Okay, so the second clip is the one that had real steady. I'd say the clips are pretty much just as smooth. The one thing that sort of gives away the real steady is that it does remove quite a bit of the fisheye. 
Um, you can also obviously remove fisheye in post with just raw hyper smooth footage. But then once again, and as you can see the hyper smooth clip, we can only slow down to 50% because we're filming at 60 frames per second. Whereas the real steady clip, we can slow down a lot more because we had 240 frames to play with. Here's another side by side comparison. Um, this is a Hero 6 filming at 1080, 240. On the right, we have no real steady and on the left, we have real steady. So last year when GoPro brought the Hero 7 Black, they introduced an amazing new feature called Time Warp Video, which allows users to easily create a hyperlapse, which traditionally is quite a difficult thing to do. And obviously Time Warp was not available in the Hero 6 Black, but we're gonna try to create one now using real steady. And we're gonna shoot a video in 4K, 4x3, at 30 frames per second. We're shooting 4x3 because Real Steady is optimized for 4x3 video. And the one exciting thing about trying this method is that we'll have full access to ProTune in the Hero 6 Black, which means we can control our things like ISO, exposure value, white balance, etc. whereas the ProTune settings are not available in Time Warp on the Hero 7 Black. So right now I'm gonna walk straight down here, have the 6 Black rolling at 4K 4x3 video, have the Hero 7 doing a Time Warp, and we'll see how they stack up against each other and see if it's possible to shoot a Time Warp on Hero 6 Black using Real Steady. So here's a raw video clip that I shot for the, the hyperlapse with the Hero 6 Black and here it is sped up with no stabilization and then we put it through Real Steady Go with the horizon lock feature and oh my goodness it is so so smooth. Honestly that's just as good. I would, I would, I would say it's probably better than the Hero 7 Black Time Warp just the convenience of having the time warp already done in camera straight out of the Hero 7 is a lot more convenient than having to do it all in post. But if you don't have the Hero 7 Black, you can now create a time warp or a hyperlapse using one of the older GoPros and the Real Steady Go. It's, I'm actually, I'm honestly, I'm honestly blown away by how smooth this is. Wow. And you have access to protein. So if you wanted to get pretty finicky with it, you could actually use your hair. Hero 7 to do this and access your ProTune settings if you weren't happy with uh, the standard settings of the Time Warp feature. So with Real Steady Go, you they have this feature called Horizon Lock, which gives it a true gimbal-like look. So as you can see with these follow cam shots here, this is the original clip I was running with the Hero 6 at 1080, 240 frames per second. Obviously the raw clip, super shaky, no gimbal. We put it into Real Steady with the Horizon Lock feature. And I mean, honestly, if you were looking at this and showed someone, they would they would say it was filmed with a gimbal. Um, and here you can see the side-by-side -side comparisons. Obviously on the left, no real steady, just raw footage throughout the camera, super shaky. And on the right, we have real steady go with the horizon lock, just buttery, buttery smooth. So at the end of the day, if you are not wanting to fork out an extra three, $400 to buy a new Hero 7, you can just get the Real Steady Go app for $99. It's a standalone app for Mac and PC, which means it's not a plugin. So it doesn't matter if you use Premiere, iMovie, Final Cut. It's a completely separate app. It's got a super simple, easy to use interface. Um, you honestly just throw the clip right in there. It stabilizes it automatically. And then if you want to, you can go in and adjust the settings accordingly. For me, I sometimes notice that it crops a bit too much for my liking. So I'll adjust that so I get the crop I want. Um, also, if I want to add the horizon lock feature or if I'm trying to shoot a hyperlapse, I can adjust those settings accordingly. Um, the only downside to the app is that you have to close it every time, close it down and reopen it for every clip. It's a bit of a tedious process, but it honestly takes two seconds to close and reopen the app. Um, I have heard that's something they're busy working on, but honestly, the app is so incredible. Um, I honestly think it's worth every single penny. And yeah, big thanks to Real Steady Go for sponsoring this week's video. It's so awesome to work with a company that I've actually you know, been using their product for a couple of months already and to have them reach out and be like, hey, do you wanna make a video on it? Um, pretty much a no brainer. So yeah, I think this is definitely a worthwhile investment for people who are really doing a lot of water-based uh, filming or water-based activities. You know, something where you can't use a gimbal such as surfing, wakeboarding, kiteboarding, scuba diving, free diving. Um, I think it's a game changer for those kind of activities. But also if you don't have the Hero 7 Black or you want smooth cinematic footage, or you don't have a gimbal, or you don't want to spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a gimbal, you can buy the Real Steady app for 90, what is it, $99. And if you use my promo code Chris Rogers, you'll get five dollars off. Honestly, this is really worth every single dollar 
Um, and as you can see from some of the comparisons I've shown you guys today, it's pretty, it's honestly pretty mind blowing. If you want to check it out, I'll have it all linked below. There are some great tutorials that they've made as well on how to use it um, and some more comparison videos below. So yeah, check it out. And um, I have a lot of exciting videos coming out real soon. So I will see you guys in a couple of days. Yep.